Hi, hello, welcome to Spell Day. We're covering a spell every single day of the year from the 5e PHP plus 3. Those plus 3 spells are homebrew spells. We're at plus 1 at the moment. We can head back to the playlist to find it. Today's spell is the second of Morningkainen's Magnificent Mansion. Joe's Barbecue and Foot Massage! Joe's Barbecue and Foot Massage! You better come down here, get some of this shit. You like to eat? America loves to eat. So why not open up somewhere America can sit down, enjoy a meal, and get their feet rubbed? We'll fry anything. 7th level Conjuration, casting time for 1 minute, range of 300 feet, components verbal somatic material, a miniature portal carved from ivory, a small piece of polished marble, and a tiny silver spoon, each item worth at least 5 gold pieces. Duration, 24 hours. You conjure an extra-dimensional dwelling in range for that lasts for the duration. You choose where its one entrance is located. The entrance shimmers faintly and is 5 feet wide and 10 feet tall. You and any creature you designate when you cast the spell can enter the extra-dimensional dwelling as long as the portal remains open. You can open or close the portal if you are within 30 feet of it, while closed the portal is invisible. Beyond the portal is a magnificent foyer with numerous chambers beyond. The atmosphere is clean, fresh, and warm. You can create any floor plan you like, but the space can't exceed 50 cubes, each cube being 10 feet on each side. The place is furnished and decorated as you choose. It contains sufficient food to serve a nine-course banquet for up to 100 people. A staff of 100 near-transparent servants attends all who enter. You decide the visual appearance of these servants and their attire. They are completely obedient to your orders. Each servant can perform any task a normal human servant could perform, but they can't attack or take any action that would directly harm another creature. Thus, the servants can fetch things, clean men, fold clothes, light fires, serve food, pour wine, and so on. Servants can go anywhere in the mansion, but can't leave it. Furnishings and other objects created by this spell dissipate into smoke if removed from the mansion when the spell ends. Any creature inside the extramental space are expelled into the open spaces nearest to the entrance. Imagine a hundred people inside Magnificent Mansion and then the, the spell ends. Ragdoll confetti! So, the really, the, like, it's not, it's not demi-plane, but it's like a vacation plane. <laughs> I say vacation plane, but depending on how you actually want to run this, this can be crazy. Like, okay. A 24 hour duration, quite nice for this. The material component isn't consumed, however. However, it's like 15 gold pieces. That is not much for what this is doing. One minute casting time. The, the range I find interesting, 300 feet. Now, the reason I could probably see that is as a getaway. Not for you, but for others. I don't know, you're looking over uh, some, like, captured prisoner's camp uh, from some battlefield. And while you're in the distance casting the spell for one minute, you're setting everything to, like, okay, I'm allowing everyone in the party and all the prisoners down there as guests of the, man of the mansion. And one of your party members goes down to tell all the other prisoners there that, hey, once this opens, we can all run in. And then close the door behind. Yes, there will likely be some people lost, but the fact it can hold so many people... Okay, it also doesn't say how many people can hold, it just says the banquet can feed a hundred people. Nine courses. So it can hold a lot. In fact, it can be quite the large, uh, extra-dimensional space. And it says any floor plan, any details, it, it can work the, okay, but it also brings up the fact that it can work the way you want it to. It doesn't say it has to abide by any physical rules. This is your own separate pocket plane you're making for 24 hours. Go crazy with it. It's the luxury, it's again, it's the vacation plane. It's not demi plane. This is for 24 hours. It's a nice luxury mansion. There's servants all around, there's food. There's, it's just a good time. You can get weird with it. You want just grav lift elevators essentially, just go it up, going down, set up your own keywords. It's uh, like guards and wards you can even set up on the inside. You could make it lethal. Yes, the servants can't harm you. That doesn't mean the terrain on the inside of the mansion doesn't have to. Or it doesn't mean the terrain on the inside of the manor can't. Not doesn't have to. So you could set up a death trap. You can have a dungeon that it took a minute. It lasts for 24 hours. The issue is when the spell ends, you're kicked out of it. And you can't recast this on the inside. You have to cast this outside of it. Oh no, not again. Okay, so there is no restriction on casting this on the inside, at least listed within the spell itself. Now I know immediately after that reaction, and what I thought was the default was, yes, there is a consequence if you cast, an, if you create another pocket plane inside a pocket plane, which is guaranteed to collapse. Uh, it's not good. But in the base spell, there's no such restriction, because the long rest is only eight hours in base game. So cast this, because it lasts for 24 hours. That's more than the rest. 
you get your long rest, you cast another magnificent mansion on the inside of that, and you keep going. Where does it end? Does the door appear where the last door was? Can you recast this on the inside and just keep it going? I... I don't know. I would say you could not cast this on the inside, at least not without some kind of consequence with the plane it's in collapsing. Also to stop just uh, something living in a plane within a plane and within a plane within a plane. But again, that would be an entertaining, uh, if you do want to go that route for your games, that could be an entertaining dungeon is that, yeah, no, there's this, the, the foyer area and the entrance to this dungeon is ever changing because this one like cabal of mages just kept recasting Magnificent Mansion as death traps deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper into it. You can dispel one layer of it, but there's just going to be another door standing there or some random door in the astral plane, if that's how it works, or outer realm, or whatever. Again, there's no explanation for where does the door go if the plane it's in collapses. But yes, also on the outside or talking with other people. Not talking with other people, but you're part of here. The Magnificent, Wa uh, Magnificent Mansion is actually not a bad wish take. Because, uh, you know, any spell as an action, really good, with no material components. So just being able to cast Magnificent Mansion as an action and get like, okay, everyone into the door. None of the enemies can get into it. Only we can. And yes, they can see the door. There's also no restrict. It's not, it's not an honest portal. It's a door. It opens and closes. You could have, again, you could set up the foyer however you want. Fortifications, barricades, arrow slits, and just have the door open and fire out of it. Spells, arrows, whatever, and no enemy can even come into the door. It's not that they, they can't try and interact with it. They can, they just can't enter it. And when you close it, it's invisible, so you can hide and then have your entire rest within an enemy's lair until something with deck magic walks by. The issue is one dispel will take care of this. And that's pretty bad. I don't know, this, this leaves a lot of questions. It's also just a fun chance to either set up a, a death trap in a minute, a dungeon in a minute, a castle for a minute, a crazy magician's lab for a minute, some fourth dimensional space for a minute or not for a minute, using a minute to make said space and lasting 24 hours. You could go super crazy with Magnificent Mansion. But it is also weirdly like the last spell we just covered, a rest spell. It's a safe haven. You've made an extra play in our safe haven with just using a minute and 15 gold pieces of materials. Only lasts you 24 hours, but the fact it's hidden, it locks out other creatures that you didn't allow in, and you can make any of the rooms however you want. It has food already installed, food and water already inside of it that actually gives you sustenance. It's fantastic. You can even make forges in here. Yes, the tools won't last, but if you bring the materials from the outside, you'll be good. So, like a lot of creative spells, what is your ideal Magnificent Mansion? One, for you as a person right now, if you could just magnificently make a mansion with a floating door somewhere, and two, characters in the past, or the most efficient, or a crazy dungeon, or however you want to set it up. Looking forward to seeing those. 10 out of 10, there's no real downside outside of the minute. Like even the range is ridiculous. It's duration, it's invisible, doesn't allow creatures. 10 out of 10. I, I know I did not cover the full world building implications with this. Uh, that's that's because the run out of space for the footage in this current recording session. But I mean, it's the fact you can feed, again, nine course meals to feed 100 people. Takes a minute. I mean, there's other food spells as well that can handle stuff, but then it's weird. 